Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Mr. Donald Park 313. Um, I want to make a quick video. It's pretty much an opinion of mine. I forget where I read it from, but it was almost like a little poll question. And it was asking, um, should the Lions keep Jim Caldwell if they were to go 10 and 6 and still miss the playoffs? Now, believe it or not, that is a possibility. And my answer to that is no, they should not. Um, first off, you know, we have to start raising the bar. And when you raise the bar, you kind of look past mediocrity. Getting to the playoffs should not just be the only goal. That shouldn't just be good enough to justify bringing coaching staff back. Now, to uh, Jim Caldwell's credit, if he does make the playoffs, it would be the first time, and I don't know how long, that the Lions have made the playoffs in consecutive seasons. But with that being said, it's time to start doing stuff, doing things with those playoff spots, If you should you get one. Now, if he doesn't get it, if we don't get in the playoffs, I think he should go. Even if we do get to the playoffs and we get a bounce in the first round, you have to go. That's just the way it is. We have to stop selling for mediocrity. The Lions organization have to stop selling for mediocrity. Get to the playoffs should not be considered making the fucking Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? If anything, that should be an expectation. Period. You look at organizations that had success in, you know, I don't know how many years, like New, New England, uh, maybe Pittsburgh. You know, that organization, that fan base, they expect to make the playoffs every year. Plain and simple, it's a foregone conclusion. I mean, you look at, you know, Tom Brady and, and the Patriots, you might as well say that the fucking AFC has five playoff spots <laughs> because you already know the Patriots are going to get one of them. So what I'm saying is we need to be more consistent. Now when they get into the playoffs, we we'll start getting playoff wins. You know, and like I said, I'm a big Stafford fan, but it's time for him to get some playoff wins under his belt. Plain and simple. Um, that's just the way it is. It's it's not acceptable just making the playoffs just to get bounced in the first round. Period. To me, it's already upsetting that we had every opportunity to win the division, but we just didn't take care of business when we should have. You know, when when Green Bay going through what they going through, and obviously Chicago being the situ situation they is, and I understand that you know Minnesota is, is a is a good team this year, even with Case Keenum. But we really should have been in, in contention to win the division. <clears throat> there's really no excuse. Basically, my, what I, my opinion is there's really no excuse for us not to win the division when Aaron Rodgers is out. Plain and simple. But you have to go back and you count those games where we just got totally outplayed, outcoached, outmatched. You go back to the... Um, you know, the Baltimore game, we laid an egg. You had to go back to the um, Pittsburgh game, laid an egg. Uh, I mean, it's, it's so many areas that you, could, that you can actually go to that this really come back to haunt us. And that's the thing about the NFL. It's not like the NBA. You can't go on five, six, seven game losing streaks or lose a shitload of games in a row and still be... In, in contentious for the playoff. You can't do that. Every fucking game counts because it's only 16 games. Blame the simple. So, um, one way for this team to start taking steps forward is not only get to the playoffs, but getting playoff wins. And not only that, you have to start beating good teams, competitive teams, playoff contenders. And I mean, it's one thing to beat up on Cleveland and Tampa Bay and shit like that, but uh, signs that your team is really improving is when you beat contenders as well. So that's just my opinion. So in my opinion, the only reason, only way I could, I would bring Caldwell back, if not only did he make the playoffs this year, but also get at least one playoff win. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and say, well, you know, he need to get to the Super Bowl instead and the other. That would be nice, but. At the very least, I would say, okay, he got to the playoffs. We got a playoff win, or we went to the NFC Championship game. 
Okay, I can see him sticking around. So, basically what I'm saying is, uh, in my opinion, as, as much as I'm rooting for him being a black head coach, it's just time for him to step his fucking game up. It's time for the Lions to step the game up. Plain and simple. No more just selling to get to the playoffs or barely making it. We shouldn't be, with this, this vision being pretty much as wide open as it was this year, we shouldn't be in situations where we have to depend on this team to lose, this team to lose. We shouldn't need help from other teams, plain and simple. And with us being in NFC North this year, that's just fucking ridiculous. Even if we just stayed right behind Minnesota, we still would have been all right. But you have to go back to the games where we fucked up and got totally outplayed. And that's come back to haunt us now. So I don't like being in situations where pretty much other teams' wins and losses pretty much determine our fate. We should be able to control our own destiny. And for that, I hold Carver responsible. So that's just the way it is. So I'm going to get on out here. This is my little rant about that. Uh, that was my, on my own my personal reason for keeping Jim Caldwell around. He got to get to the playoffs and he got to um, he got to get a playoff win. Plain and simple. So, if you don't make it, I don't give a fuck about you going 10-6. and Because at the end of the day, it doesn't mean shit. Because starting off the season, the goal was not just to get to 10-6 and and that's just it. The goal was to get to the playoffs and win some playoff games. So, it's time to stop accepting the fucking mediocrity. Plain and simple. Everybody needs to step up. That goes from Caldwell, that goes from Stafford, that goes from the coaching staff, that goes to everybody. That's just the way it is. Ain't no more fucking around, man. So, that's just my rant on that. Uh, we'll see how the season plays out. And, um, obviously, I'll chime in on that. And, you know, depend, you know, either way it go. But, like, as always, I'm going to shout out to my DVE crew, man. Um, Mr. Dollar Part 313, and I get out y'all later.